Veterinary Medicine Digital. As far as treatment goes, what we're seeing is that the number of options for pituitary-dependent hyperadrenocorticism has been expanding. Traditionally, we've used OPDDD, or Lysodrin. It was initially developed as a, an insecticide. It's a derivative of DDT. It's been used in veterinary medicine since the early 60s to treat hyperadrenocorticism. The most recent drug to be investigated in veterinary medicine is the adrenal enzyme inhibitor, trilostane. This is an adrenal enzyme blocker, sort of like ketoconazole and metiropone, but it has a higher efficacy and a higher safety margin than previous adrenal enzyme inhibitors. It has to be administered once a day chronically, and you do have to monitor ACTH stimulation and electrolyte values in dogs taking trilostane in a manner that you did with OPDDD. The advantage of trilostane seems to be a much higher safety profile than lysodrin with an equal efficacy rate. So we've been using trilostane almost exclusively for dogs with PDH in the last two years and have only been using OPDDD in dogs that did not respond to the administration of trilostane.